I'm back for another of our card class to go, Curvy Celebrations cards. This one is really pretty, very delicate and florally. Um, it's all in petal pink tones with a little bit of pool party and just jade sprigs thrown in. Again, this uh, card features the um, stamps and dies from the Quite Curvy set. These are the stamps. So um, we are going to put this card together. Uh, it's from your kit and what you have in yours looks a lot like this, okay? And then you'll, you'll just need some extra white scrap paper or white cardstock in order to do your stamping and die cutting. So inside the envelope, I'm gonna set our sample aside. Inside your envelope, you have some scraps of uh, Just Jade and Pool Party, and these you will use um, with this die, this one right here, to create some sprigs for the centerpiece. Um, and then you have, so this is all in petal pink. Uh, there's a strip of, um, designer series paper. Uh, it is, uh, it measures one and a half by five and a quarter. There is a, a front panel of uh, the same petal pink cardstock that's been embossed. Uh, then you have a petal pink card base, A2 top folding. And then inside, you'll find that we have some, there's some twine, it's more of a pink color. So I guess it's an option. If you don't wanna use pink, you might find something in your stash that you like better. Um, here is the panel um, that you will build your sprigs. It's gonna go on this piece. And then this is just your white interior panel that will go inside your card with your, um, either another a sentiment or, um, you know, whatever you want to put on there. Okay, so these are the pieces that you get in your card kit. So let's kind of organize these things here. We won't need our twine for a little bit. We won't need our interior panel for a little bit. We'll work on the outside. So I'll set the envelope aside. All right, so here's our card base. We're gonna build up our card base. So I think what we should start with is the embossed panel. And I have raised the embossed panel by using um, dimensionals uh, or foam tape, whatever you have to raise up, pop up the embossed panel. Okay, so let's take care of that. All right, there we go. Um, here's your strip of DSP. It has um, tiny little uh, text on this side or almost a wood grain on this side. So you can decide what you like. Um, I'm gonna go with the tiny text and I'm going to um, adhere it right up to the left side of the, the raised floral embossed pa uh, panel here. So I'm just gonna use some stamp and seal like product. Uh, it will hold just nicely. So I'm gonna line it up right up here, butt it up to the corner. Hold it down. There we go. Okay, now let's set this aside and we're gonna, uh, let's work on building the stuff for our uh, focal panel right here. So I am going to uh, use my stamp and cut and emboss machine and create, um, I'll do, let's see, one, two, three, four jade and it uh, looks like three pool party. Okay, so here are our die cut sprigs that we're going to use, pool party and just jade. And now we need to uh, stamp, color, and die cut uh, one, two, and then it's three uh, of the sprays, we'll call them the spray of flowers from the Quite Curvy set. It's this one right here. And I'm just gonna give you a little suggestion. Uh, if you are um, one of our card class to go people, um, you, I, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do four because we're going to use um, uh, another one of these sprays of flora, flowers in another card. So I'm gonna stamp, color, and die cut four of the this image. We're going to use three on this card, okay? So I'm going to use, move this out of the way. Um, I'm gonna use my stamp positioner just because, well, I don't know, because I always use it. 
Um, I have some scrap uh, white cardstock here. That's too long, so I'm just going to give it a little chip, chop, chip right there. Put that in my stamp positioner. Pull out the spray that I want to use. Place it um, here. So I'm going to use black memento ink which is uh, the best ink for, well, it's, it's the best black ink hands down. <laughs> There's really no other explanation, but uh, I'm going to use stamp and blend alcohol-based markers. So this is the ink to use if you're going to use alcohol-based markers. Um, so I'm going to close the door on my stamp positioner, grab that stamp, place the paper back in, and then go ahead and ink up The image and stamp it. Close the door, stamp it on here. How does that look? Uh, it looks pretty good, except I think I missed a little tiny bit there. Beauty of a stamp positioner you just re ink and re stamp. There you go. Now I'm going to see if this will work. <laughs> I'm going to turn it this way and see if I can get another one on there. Yep. So I'll re ink it. four of these sprigs. So I picked up my uh, combo petal pink. I'm going to use my light pool party and my light just jade. All right. So I'm going to give a, a color all of these and then I'll die cut them. All right. My flowers. I'm going to Give one quick layer of the light on all the petals. Then I come back with a little of the dark and just kind of flick here at the bottom. where it comes out of the, the leaf base there. Okay, and then I will go in with my, this is my light just jade, but it is a darker, um, it is a darker green. So I, I'm just really using the, the fine tip and just sort of tapping the color because these leaves, the leaves here in the sprig are pretty small. Um, so I'm just kind of, kind of, alternate between um, sprigs here and then on those little ones and then on these with the sort of the separated leaf I'm going to use the what's the darker of the two greens I'm going to use those on the bottom section of the divided leaf and again they're very small so I just sort of just tap the color in if it bleeds over into the upper section, I'm perfectly fine with that. It will um, just add to the depth of the of the leaf there. Okay, so just tip tap, just a little bit, and then I'm going to come in with my lighter, the pool party, and then just sort of uh, fill in uh, the other the alternate uh, sets of leaves here on our uh, sprig, and then. The tops of the, well, I don't know what you call these, the divided leaf. <laughs> and then I'm going to go and I'm going to um, catch all of the uh, stems of the flowers in Pool Party. 
You just kind of lightly tap down the this bottom portion and then the stem. All right. So there you go. That's pretty quick and easy. Um, so I am going to go ahead and do that with um, all four of the uh, sprigs and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are with um, three uh, of the garlands here, colored, um, stamped, colored and die cut. We're going to use these on our card today. And I did make one more, which I'm going to save for um, a card that we're making um, soon. So in this particular, here's our sample. We have one full, two full, and then these two pieces here are actually one that I cut uh, cut into two sections and where I cut it so here's the um, the entire uh, image you see where this flower is the one though there's one that's upside down I'm going to call this the bottom half okay so where I snipped here's the bottom flower one two three at the third one from the bottom I'm just going to take my scissor and just follow it along and I'm going to make sure that I kind of curve up this, this leaf right here. And then I can make any adjustments uh, over here on this side. So I'm just going to curve up and separate. Now we have two pieces, so I'll set this aside. And I just kind of want to take a little bit of that extra white out. So I'm just going to just fussy cut it. It's super simple. doesn't take any kind of magic it's just and then when i cut I, I made it a little bit sharp there so i'm gonna just curve it around there you go so now we have one two three four pieces okay um that's what we're going to use in our in our focal point right there so again here are uh some sprigs that we die cut earlier nothing wants to move very easily for me here um so basically let's just arrange our flowers okay so i'm going to what i basically do is i'm going to put down my die cut sprigs first and then um and then kind of tuck in the the flowers all right and when we get those all glued down that's when we'll tie our uh, twine around the base of our uh, card here and we're going to attach this little tiny tag that says love you um, and I'll show you how we do that too, because that's a little manipulation of um, a stamp that we have in our set. Okay, so let famous uh, tweezers, I must have tweezers, um, our multi-purpose glue, and then our trusty silicone mat so I don't get my work surface all gluey. All right, so I'm going to start with um, uh, Just Jade, and I'm just going to build, um, build my arrangement. It's paper flower arranging. Now we've got our bouquet created. And uh, let's let let's do that stamping job first. And let's make that little tag, and I'll show you how I'm going to set this over here and just let it dry. Okay. So again, I have my stamp positioner. I've got a piece of that. Here's some of that scrap paper from um, when I cut out the garlands here. And this is this the stamp we're going to use is made with love just for you. But we're not gonna use the whole stamp. We're going to just um, use the, these two words. You can change up your sentiments uh, and just use uh, you know, a portion of them uh, easily. Well, there's a little fidgeting to, go, to happen, but it's, it's not too difficult. So I've got Petal Pink ink, I'm gonna use that. And I'm just gonna stamp, let's see. Okay, so we've got the uh, the stamp here uh, on the, the door. And what I'm going to do now is just take some 
scotch tape, some cellophane tape, and block off the words that we don't want to use. So in the end, we want it to say, love you, and we're using the stamp that says, made with love just for you. So we're going to use these last two words here and manipulate it so that it looks like it says love and then the you will be right up after it. Okay, so let's start with the word love. Okay, I'm gonna block off um, the words that I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna cellophane tape over them. So let's, I'm gonna try doing the love first. There we go, and put a little bit more tape up here and cover up the width and the rest of the stamp, just, just in case. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go, I've got the word love. I'm gonna take my petal pink ink and I'm gonna stamp over that. Okay, close the ink. Carefully remove the cellophane tape. It is very inky. There we go. Oh, that was a nice one. Pulled it off on one go. All right, then go ahead and shut the door and get the word love. There you go. There's the word love. Just readjust this. It doesn't have to be perfect there. I'm going to clean off um, the word love here. And now our word, our focus word is the word you there at the bottom of the stamp. So I'm gonna cover the, the just for and with, uh, made with love. I'm gonna cover those with our cellophane tape. Oh, actually, we better make sure that the word you can line up here. <laughs> Small little piece of advice. So I'm just going to lay that here and go out like that. There we go. <laughs> I'm just going to, there we go. Now I can layer everything or cover everything up. Okay. So the top line all gets covered up and all right that's a lot of cellophane but that's okay all right so now i'm going to ink up the word you remove the Cellophane tape, give it a go. And there's the word you. So there you go, love you. Now we're just gonna trim it down and create a little tiny tag out of it. And that can be done with, um, I'm gonna start out by using my paper trimmer just to give it a nice straight um, cut, and then we can tweak it a little bit with um, scissors. So let me, and then we have love you. I'm just gonna give it a little snip at the bottom. And then to create that sort of, you know, angled tag here, I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna give it a, the tiniest of haircuts, angle it like this. Now you can be real particular, take that corner, flip it over, put it in this corner and trim. Or you can be, do go free form, baby, free form. So it's gonna be a pretty good little point there. I have this, um, I don't know, I've had these a million years, but it's got a somewhat small uh, hole punch so I'm gonna um, just go ahead and punch a hole. I'm gonna do it upside down so I can see it. Right there. Yeah, it's not gorgeous, but you know what? It's gonna have the really pretty bow all around it. So we don't have to worry too much, but the cute sentiment, love you, is there. And that's what we were going for. 
Okay, so now it's time to wrap up our focal point with our bow and put our tag on there. So here's the twine. Again, it's a, it's a little pinky, pinker than the peach uh, color of, of this petal pink. So it's up to you if you wanna use it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give myself some, some lead here a little bit and then just simply wrap it around the base a couple times. Tie it in a knot so it stays. And then I'm gonna create that loopy bow, which is kind of a, uh, an extra step. But for, to me, it makes it, I, I, I like the loopy bows because they're a little fluffier. There we go, so here's that. Then I'm just going to snip this off. And I have a- you Make your knot, add your tag. It's not too late, I'm gonna put it in here. And now, grab up my little loopy bow. <laughs> He's been let loose. Okay, kind of give it a little twist. Put it on. Now, tie him up Get off with the knot here. There we go. And I want my strings to kind of hang down. So what I do is I press on the knot and then give a tug to the two strings. There you go. You can fluff them up and snip. I like them to be a little bit long, but not too, too long. There we go. All right, now we have our focal point. And I, um, let's bring back our, here's our card base. It's got the embossed panel and then the DSP. And remember the embossed panel is raised with foam tape and we're also going to uh, raise this piece with uh, dimensionals as well, okay? So let's put some dimensionals on. All right. Now let's place our really pretty floral arrangement onto our card front. And there we go. The love you is right there. I'm kind of, I'm basically just centering this piece. So he's gonna be a little bit on top of the DSP and a little on top of the uh, the uh, embossed panel there. So there you go, here's the love you. There we go, you can fussy around with that if you like. And then that is the finished card. And when you're ready, then you go ahead and place the uh, white interior panel that came in your kit and you're good to go. Inside, let's use a little bit of stamp and seal. There you go. All right, I, I invite your opinion. In the comments below, go ahead and tell me, should I color in this uh, interior garland to uh, coordinate with the outside or just leave it in a black and white? Let me know, put your, put your idea, your feedback in the comments below. And there we go, there's our out, the outside of our envelope. And there's our finished product. Uh, the really pretty petal pink um, using the quite curvy stamp set and dies.